why and welcome to my shop and I'm kind of in the mood for doing some unusual stuff here and I happen to have this broken tube and I think it'd be interesting to pull it apart never really pulled one apart and I'm not sure how to do it I think I can probably figure it out can't be too strong after all so I'm going to show you the uh, the tube we're doing this to now this is a fairly common tube 6BA6 so it's a pento it's got lots of grids inside of it and there's the diagram so there you can see there's a cathode a heater control grid, a screen grid, suppressor grid, and then the plate. So we're going to look at each of these parts. Of course it's going to come apart in the other order. Well, we'll see how it comes apart. It may not come apart in much order at all. <laughs> so let's see here. Looks like as I pull this top piece off, it's pulling all the structures inside too. So I think this is uh, going to destroy this. Let's see what happens here. Just crushed it here. <laughs> you usually can't expect to do well on the first one. Yeah, it's pretty much true of everything, isn't it? not be able to see I put a lot of pressure on that. There we go. There we go. No, it looks like it didn't do much to the central structures. Hmm.
looks like a little metal bent tab here. Just bend that back up. And I wonder what this is. This is probably mica. I don't know what it is though. Hmm. It's a little mucked up in there, but not too bad, I don't think. So there you can see the, the outer can is the uh, plate. And the inner part, the most, the most uh, inner part you can see that's got the white color on it, that would be the cathode. And uh, that white color would be some kind of material, specialized material, to help with the emission of uh, electrons at lower and lower temperature, and other factors too. And inside that central tube, the central pipe is the heating element, which of course we're not going to see. And, uh, we've kind of disrupted things a little bit here, so a little hard to see the relative spacing of the different. Uh, on the glass down here at the bottom. Just cut my fingers I'm trying to pull the uh, pull off the uh, plate here. It's not very agreeable. Let's do a little bit of mass destruction. Why beat around the bush here? There it goes. Okay, so here's the plate. See inside of it all? Maybe there'd be like deposits or something in there. Yeah, I can see something right in there. looks kind of like some kind of structure to direct the electron beam. And it appears to have a lead coming right down into one of the one of the pins at the bottom here. So now you can see how far out the outside grid, which is the suppressor grid, and like how far out from the center. It's so tricky to see, but if you look at the, the inside grids, they're much more tightly wound, very tightly wound. It's almost as much copper as there is space. It's 
useful, unlike the outside grid. The suppressor grid is really loosely wound. At least on this team. And all these things are, you know, have an effect on interelectrode capacitance and all the geometric factors that must be at play in these things. Really pretty cool. Well, that's a 6B6 close up. And uh, not one that's going to work. That's for sure. <laughs> so, anyway, hope, hope you found that interesting. And, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks.